Welcome to another episode of Maybe Grammar to the Rescue. This is an example of a replay or review of a session in which I was listening to audio samples and typing my attempted transcript into the text area. In this case, I have a little typo in De Atiga, and I have the verb wrong at the end of the Das clause, the Nebensatz in the German. Noch nie hatte Reinhold erlebt, dass Musik derartige Emotionen auslösen kann. According to my beginner or intermediate ear, the sound the speaker has made at the end of the Nebensatz is really um, closer to Können than Kann, which to my mind has a um, harder or a longer A, Kann. So which to choose? Do we choose the word that clo more closely matches the sound we believe the native speaker has said? Remember, we might be seeing illusions. Remember all the examples of optical illusions that 17th century and 18th century philosophers brought against the primacy of vision in favor of reasoning, judgment, optics, where something really is. For example, the sun appears to be a lot smaller than the sky of the earth. In similar cases, the moon will appear to be closer at it than it really is in space, depending on the conditions of the atmosphere, the air, temperature, humidity, and, and so on. Now, um, as adults learning a foreign language, I think our ears are playing tricks on us, whether it's the ear, the brain, whatever, the nexus. So <laughs> he probably didn't say couldn't. Now, how to really perfect this transcript? When we're close to perfection, what could we do? We could remember grammatical rules that das Musik is a singular or, per, or per, plural. Well, it's not. It's de, it would be die Musik about an article, but das as a Nebensatz constructor. So Musik is singular. So it really has to be kann. But the speaker said kann, 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 or uh, maybe. But here's a question. When we're programming this program using data from Mozilla Common Voice, the Common Voice validated as the corpus for DE for German. This is a file name. It's all downloaded from Mozilla. I wrote an application to learn language through a primarily phonic approach as an adult. Um, hold that thought for the moment. Go back to the question. Should we transcribe? This is yours, so it's really mine. This is what I attempted when I was playing. Should your transcript, should you transcribe not only what the speaker said, but rather what the speaker should have said in the case that the native speaker has made a slight slip of the tongue or a common mistake? In general, I think you should actually transcribe what the speaker should have said as a native speaker, but also as a native speaker speaking correctly or more standardly. But that's just an opinion. It's, it's easier to program. It's harder to go back and adjust the data, ask instructors in the German language whether, oh, um, did he really say kun? And do people sometimes make that mistake? I don't know. Maybe the speaker did make the mistake because emotionen is plural. So he was thinking of the plural conjugation of uh, kan, kun. Who knows? Uh, that's the most of um, what we have to say in this episode of Grammar. Maybe to the rescue. Grammar could have come to the rescue, but I was a bit too immersed in the in the phonics, in the sound, to remind myself, hey, wait a second, I might be hearing an illusion. This is the case where your better judgment ought to correct you. As a final thought, what will happen when you learn language according to this application and its method is that gradually on third and fourth impressions of this very audio file, maybe seventh and eighth, it takes a lot of repetition, but memory of past punishments, all this red, 
will actually correct what you hear. You're going to start actually sensing the phenomena correctly, dare I say, because you've reached the point where your mind-ear connection is actually more, it's a better, it's a better sportler in the sport of speaking this foreign language. Suffer, suffer one more metaphor. Uh, suffer me to tell you one more metaphor. People used to say that, oh, braces are only for kids for correction of crooked teeth. Can't really do that for the adult, but <clears throat> not wearing it right now. But we had this concept of Invisalign to gradually correct teeth that may look inesthetic or simply may cause pain because they're out of alignment and so on. So you can gradually correct an adult smile or teeth over nine months, 12, 15. <clears throat> and the final retainer, the result, final result is very different from the initial state. And each retainer is only gradually different. So I would say that as you play this application, it's like putting your adult mind into these, into these retainers. So it's a lot of punishment with the red, but using utilizing your memory and, and conservative spaced repetition, it's it's like each stage of a tighter is a tighter retainer to get you to um, something close to fluency. We, we would never say fluency, like C1 is pretty far from a native as is C2. That's another discussion. But that's what the application does. And yeah, just a simple question. What is the number of the instance music or the, the noun music in this case? Is it singular or plural? That's, that's really the only distinction. Just remember it's singular. So the speaker had to say Khan, even if he made a mistake. Noch nie hatte Reinhold erlebt, dass Musik derartige Emotionen auslösen kann. For those of you new to German, here's a Google translation. Wiedersehen. <laughs>